Yeah, Greg, he showed up here a few minutes ago to lay a memorial to his son. He also identified us for him. He says his name is Ryan De La Cruz. He says he was a senior at Franklin High. He wanted to be a Marine and loved video games. He shared a picture of his son with us, and he also talked about how he forgives the people that did this as police are searching for him or for them. Still, he said he is thinking right now about what his son has lost. Uh, my son, he is a dreamer. Yeah, but his dream was being pulled and taken for devil's hand. Again, he identified his son for us as Ryan De La Cruz. We are just hearing that. Uh, and we are, we're also out here talking today uh, as police are searching for those suspects in this case. It has a lot of people feeling unsafe in this area. Here's more. The sound of waves greets visitors to Martha Washington Park. A far cry from what woke neighbors overnight. We heard nine gunshots, and then we heard kids screaming. Shiri Levy is raising her family right across the street from what was this morning a crime scene. Very, very, very close, very close. And she says the park is a South Seattle gem, a destination on a warm day like this. It's packed with people and dogs and people coming down to use the waterfront. It's pretty busy, not today. Pretty empty. Empty, except for a few people. Come on, buddy. Like James Dietrich and his dog, Apollo. It's just uh, usually a really safe part of town, and there's a lot of great dog owners who come down here. And he says this peaceful scene just doesn't mesh with the violence overnight. It doesn't. Certainly not with, with days like this and... and beautiful things around. You know, I think gun violence is just a terrible thing in this country right now. As he and Apollo enjoy the water, he hopes others can feel comfortable again here too. The neighborhood deserves to be safe. Uh, I really hope they catch them. This is our backyard. Because until Shiri knows more about this killing, her children will be staying closer to home. Yes, I won't let them go alone. This definitely changed the ball game right now. It's peaceful in the daylight but she won't forget the sound of those gunshots anytime soon. You know, to me, this is not okay. So, of course, we now know the name of that victim, but police say they do not have a suspect yet. They are asking anyone with information to call their tip line. That number is 206-233-5000. Back to you, Greg.